Hi again everybody, welcome to my latest video. Well this is sort of like another follow-on video to my security NVR or network video recorder. As you recall in the last video, I upgraded the hard disk from a 2 terabyte to a 6 terabyte. Well, what I found out though is this thing is running pretty hot. On the outside and on the ports that would exhaust heat by naturally, you know, by convection, very hot. So I decided to do is uh, put a fan in it. It has an option for doing that. And I did some research and the best one for it was this Notua NF A4 X10. And what it is, is a very small little 40 millimeter fan. They actually give it a very good packaging, you know. Uh, I was a little surprised by that, but you know, it is Notua. And I was gonna open this up and put this inside of the uh, NVR, and as you can see here, got the fan, and you got a lot of different cables and mounting options to it. So I'll see what works best, but I do understand from reading it, and these are two good things, there's a special adapter cable that will reduce the speed of the fan, since obviously this is not a PWM capable device, only two wires for the fan, and this will reduce it, I think, down to about two-thirds is normal speed and thereby reduce the noise that'll come out of it because that's what I'm a little bit concerned about. And it also has an adapter to convert from the three wire that this fan happens to be to a two wire connector that this particular device has. In the description of it, it does support NVRs. So I'm assuming that that connector should work fine, but we'll see. So let me go ahead and uh, open it up and put this inside. But before I do that, I'm going to show you the temperatures. I have here a uh, temperature device to measure the external temperature. It's an infrared, and I will test different points of it before, and then once this is running for a little while, maybe a couple of days, I'll test it again, and we'll see how much improvement, if any, occurred. So stay to the end to see the results of that. Hopefully it doesn't make too much noise as a result, but we'll find out. Okay, it's been running for a few days. I got this laser heat sensor. Let me check the temperature in certain spots here. See up front, 100, 100, in the middle, 100, 105 back here, because that's probably where the CPU is at. 105, looks like this whole, well, here's 99, so it cools down when it gets over here. Over here, 99. So it's pretty hot. Let me take the cover off and we'll see, you know, what it looks like. Let me see what the hard drive itself looks like and the CPU. Let's try the CPU by itself. 132. The hard drive, 139. So up close, it's uh, a lot harder. Okay, let me shut the thing down normally and then we'll uh, see about changing that fan. Okay, let's see if we can get this fan installed now. I also have the two connectors here. It's very interesting. They give you a nice labeling here. This one says a 3 to 2 pin adapter on it with a little label. And this one here says a low noise adapter. So I'm gonna try it with just the pin adapter for now and we'll see how that does. If it's too noisy, I'll add this. They have to be sort of put in serially, it looks like. So that'll go like that and then this will go into the fan itself. So let's start by putting the adapter on the fan. It's keyed so it should go right in here, like that. And it looks like this fits, but let me actually make sure it does fit. Let's connect it up to this little two-pin connector that's over here. Like that. And let me go ahead and install it and see what we get. Uh, now, there are different ways to install it. This is like a really silent mounting technique. You can put these through here, and you can put it through the hole. But we really don't have the room in here to do something like that with this sort of buffer-type holder for it. In any case, I only can use two here because there's no two additional screw holes above. So what I decided to do is I will use these instead, the standard fan connectors screws that it came with. I only need two of them. And I'll put it so that the cable is down out of the way here. Got to make sure that this bracket is facing out because I want the air to blow in that direction. I didn't notice that there was an arrow here, but there probably is somewhere. That's, it should go out in that direction. I'll find out soon enough. Let me get these two screws in. These are standard fan type screws. So there's usually just a little bit of uh, 
muscle needed to get things like that in there. Let's see what we got. Looks like it's uh, a little tight, so I'll have to convince it a little bit. Try driving these through first. Make sure I have the wire out of the way. So it's in. I'll have to dress these up a little bit once I test it. But let me go ahead and try turning it on and seeing if the fan actually works. Now supposedly, according to the instructions, even if the polarity was wrong, the only thing that would happen is it wouldn't spin because there's a diode protector somewhere in here. They got an embedded diode in the cable. That's a good plus. So let me try it. And then I'll turn it on. It's turning. I hear the hard drive. I really don't hear that at all. Nacho is a known for that. When they say they have a quiet fan, they have a quiet fan. Okay, I just wanted to test it with this, so I'll shut it down again once it comes up normally. Okay, it's off, so I'll immediately shut it down. Okay, you still gotta turn the power off. I'll wait till the drive cycles down before I move it around. So it's a good idea with a hard drive device like this. Okay, it stopped. Unplug the power. Let me uh, put a couple of tie wraps on there. Keep that cable out of the way. And we'll get the cover on. All done. Turn it back on. Power. Got the monitor ready to go. I hear it coming up. I see the green light. I see the red light. And I see the splash screen come up on the monitor. And I feel airflow right here. Wet my finger a little bit, and I can feel the air coming out. So it's going to blow out of here, sucking in through the top, and there's a vent on the other side here. So it's sucking in through that vent here. So we'll see. I'll let it run for a while, a couple of days maybe, and then we'll recheck the uh, temperatures, the external temperatures on it. And now it's back up. I can see the cameras on it. So that does it for now. Give it a couple of days, and I'll give the final results. Okay, here we are a couple of days later. Let's see what we got in terms of temperatures. 81. What's back here where the CPU was? 81. 81. Seems to be 81 throughout, or 82 over here for some reason. Well, now it like, seems like it's 82 all over, so we'll settle at 82. I'm not exactly sure what percentage it is, but that's a fantastic improvement. I don't have much noise at all here. I can feel the air coming through. It's coming up pretty cool on this end. And there's no noticeable heat touch to the top like I had before, which was really worrying me because I know that that would cause this system to fail just a matter of time. So that concludes it.